Ladies and gentlemen, a reminder, the North and the South Press Boxes, the scoreboards have the correct time. The East scoreboard is incorrect. Invaders in the home gray with black shorts, black numerals, red and black trim. Milwaukee of blue shirts uh, with uh, white pants, white numerals. Wave, the visiting team, will control the kickoff to start the game. They will move from our left to our right as we look at it from high atop the Civic Center. The Invaders come in at 9-3 with a one-year lead in the Northern Division. Milwaukee in third place at 6-7. and seven. Three and a half games out. They dump it down the cannon and Pisano pops it in the goal area for Swanner. Long lead for Kramer up in the Milwaukee zone working on Delinsky. Artie drops it back outside the red line to Don Tobin. Tobin knocked it around Sanderson. Maurer heel pass. Tobin with a shot off the post. And the rebound comes right back into the waiting arms of Tony Pierce. And Delinsky comes out with it for Milwaukee. J.D. outlet midfield. It's too far for Sanderson. And Condridge will chase it down in the corner and roll it in the goal area. Swanner scoops it up there. Outlet right side midfield for Steve Maurer. Maurer at the red line. Back to the net. Double teamed by Trom and Alioto. Alioto deflection. Ball taken away by Jim Tron. And now John Delinsky. Midfield circle. Forward for Tron. Left side. And they'll back it up at the red line to Tim Alioto. His brother Tom is the player coach of the Fort Wayne Flames. Bad pass headed away by Tobin. Maurer got inside Tron on the right side boards. Leaves it there for Tobin, about eight feet inside the red line. Clears on the left side to Condridge. Tomo knocks it around Sirosky. Pierced out of the net to clear for Milwaukee. And Tobin waits for it at midfield. <laughs> Backs it up in the canton end for Swanner. Jamie outlet short on the left side to Don Tobin. We've played a minute and 21 seconds. Pisano spin move to get around Sanderson. And Sanderson will get whistled for holding. That's the first foul on either team in the game. Oscar got around him and Derek grabbed a hold of him on the shoulder from behind. 13.30 to play first quarter. Tobin long lead ball knocked away by Alioto. Taken back by Condridge. Tried to get it ahead to Maurer. Maurer got inside Sanderson. He shoots and it's knocked away by Pierce just before Kramer arrived up the right side. Tron with it at midfield for Milwaukee. Drop it back to Alioto at the wave red line. Tim Alioto. Clears the ball ahead. It's Sasso Sirovsky. And now they dish it up to Chance Fry. And uh, Louis Bennett is in the game for Milwaukee. Also in Peter Knezic. Ball taken away at the red line by Pisano. Here comes Oscar across midfield. Across the red line on the right side. Pisano drops it back to Kia at midfield. Kia to Magic Celestin forward. Around Rudy. Rudy dumps it in. And on the second bounce, it's caught by... Pierce in the outlet to Knezic. Knezic and Rudy fight for it. Left side midfield. Key at a double team. Ball knocked away to Bennett and taken away by Pikasinski and taken back by Knezic. Knezic midfield ahead to Louis Bennett. Bennett to the Canton red line. Winds fires wide to the right side and the rebound knocked in by Celestin and controlled by Jamie Swanner. Long outlet comes up the left side of the floor for Rudy. Rudy is in a foot race with Mark Evans. Evans got there first on the angle and Pierce has it. Outlet on the left side to Knezic. Peter Knezic, all-star midfielder, last for, for Milwaukee. Now it's Oscar Padilla, right side at midfield. Forward for Fry, shot wide to the right. Nobody home for the rebound. Now Bennett lost the ball, bad pass taken away by Kia. Here come the Invaders, three on two if they hurry. Right side feed to Magic. Magic wants Rudy and knocked away on the play by Padilla. Rudy was open up the right side and Padilla able to step in front of the pass and knock it away. 11.52 to play in the first quarter, no score. Our contest period tonight for United Bank is the second quarter. If you've got a card in the mail, be listening. Corner kick from the right side for the Invaders. Tron, Sanderson, Sarovsky, Alioto, and Delinsky back on the floor for Milwaukee. It's Kia, Rudy, Magic, Tim Tima, and Walt Schlothauer for the Invaders. Celestin will put the ball in play from the right corner. Magic. Outside, Walter winds and fires. It's deflected out front by Alioto, taken by Tran. Tran to Delinsky, and ahead it comes to Sarovsky, knocked away by Kia, and taken by the Magic Man. Celeste to move around Tran. Sarovsky deflected the pass for Kia, but Rudy waits for it at the red line. Now back to Celestin. 
and they clear it to the Canton red line to Tima. Knocks it away from Sanderson. In the goal area for Swanner, Jamie clears midfield. Rudy dishes back, and Kia lets it go. Tima comes through the midfield circle. Timmy pass ahead. It's shortened behind Tobin. Delinsky comes the other way for Milwaukee. J.D. across the red line, move around Tima. Weak shot that's handled by Swanner. Outlets on uh, mid red line on the left side to Don Tobin. Through the midfield circle, right side to Kramer. Kramer with Maurer clearing. Maurer down in the right corner. Wall pass out front, nobody home. Delinsky coming the other way. Midfield to Sanderson. Dumps it over to Tron. Jung Tron picked up by Pisano at the red line. Forward for J.D. Delinsky trying to get around Tobin, but Pisano comes over to double team. Tron through the arc with the ball knocked away from behind by Maurer and controlled by Jamie Swanner. Outlet short right side to Oscar Pisano. Pisano working against Sanderson. Now they'll clear it to Swanner, and Jamie will come out left side across the invader red line. Sanderson to apply pressure. Swanner long lead for Kramer, trying to heal it back to Maurer. And Maurer clears in the left point to Condridge. Through the box, and the ball for Tobin clearing up the right side, knocked away by Tron. Sarovsky for Milwaukee clears left side at midfield. Jim Tron picked up by Pisano, sends it long for Sanderson. It's too far. Swanner clears ahead to Pisano, leaves it at the red line on the right side boards for Tobin. Tobin trying to put a move on his man ahead to Pisano. Oh, no, side and Pierce was just getting back in front and Kia got it a little bit high and it'll be a goal kick for Milwaukee 921 to play in the first period here with 1480 WHBC Canton Ohio radio home of the invaders next home game Friday night January 2nd 805 kickoff time as the Memphis Storm makes their first appearance here at the Civic Center long lead team and knocks it away at the Canton red line trying to get it to magic magic double teamed and Bennett comes away with the ball for Milwaukee Bennett, sliding play by Kia, stripped him away. And here comes Magic ahead to Rudy Pekosinski. Pekosinski back to Magic, ball knocked away by Fry, but Magic able to get up. Magic man with players around him ahead to Schlothauer. Schlothauer got the ball a little bit in front of him. He and Padilla will fight for it, and coming away is Bennett. Bennett right side, Milwaukee red. But they get it back, loose out front shot, score the goal to Chance Fry. So Milwaukee ties it 1-1 on Chance Fry's seventh goal of the year. It comes at 6-18 of the period as he found the right side of the net. Swanner not able to get... And we're all even at 1-1 as Milwaukee answers right back. Knezic gets the assist, and that's his sixth of the season. That's not many for him. He's only got... Pete Knezic to have a lot more than that this time of the year. Swanner had trouble with it out front, knocked it to Sanderson. Oh, and Derek hit the post on the right side. Jamie with a rebound, long lead midfield, knocked away by Delinsky, but he deflected it into the Milwaukee bench. Referee says it went off a of Kia, so they'll give it back to Milwaukee. 
Right side touch line at midfield. 8.25 to play in the first quarter. We're tied 1-1. Kramer has scored for Canton. Fry has scored for Milwaukee. Dolinsky clears it ahead for Derek Sanderson, and he touches it back to Alioto. Now ahead for Jung Tron, knocked away from behind by Tima. Swanner clears for Kia, but it take a, takes a bad hop off the boards. And it's Delinsky with it at midfield off the feed from uh, Sasso Surowski. Steal by Pekosinski ahead to Kia. Kia's got Alioto to beat with Rudy clearing. He shoots Alioto, blocked the shot. Rebound comes to Magic. He clears it off the glass, but it takes a hop over the glass and out of play. And that'll be a goal kick for Milwaukee with 8.01 to play. for Canton. Fry from Knezic at 618. That's been the scoring so far. Pierce outlet left side midfield. Now to Canton red line is Bennett. Knocked away again by Kondrich. That's about the fourth time Tomo has done that to Bennett. Bennett working back to the net. There's a steal by Maurer. Knocked it away. Tried to center and nobody there but Knezic. Maurer stole it from the keeper Pierce. Uh, Kramer was on the left side of the box. They couldn't get the ball to it. Evans in the invader and red line left side. Looks down for Fry through the box, and that's just wide, about uh, three feet wide to the right side. Kramer off the rebound, and they dump it in the goal area for Jamie Swanner, and he rolls the outlet immediately, head to Pisano. Picked up by Fry at the red line, a move to the right, stops back to the right again, and now he'll clear it left side to Don Tobin, dump it back in the goal box to Swanner. Six and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Swanner pushes the ball ahead to Condridge, one touch over to Pisano, left side at midfield. Oscar now right side at the red line to Tomo. Tomo winds, fires off the glass. Rebound comes out behind Maurer. Bennett goes the other way for Milwaukee and knocked it out of play. Louie wanted to clear it off the glass, and he missed the glass and cleared it through the penalty box. And the Invaders will put it in play left side at midfield with 6-16 to play in the first quarter, and we're all tied up at 1-1. The line of Tron Sanderson and Sarovsky is in for Milwaukee with Delinsky and Alioto on defense. Rudy Pikasinski and Kia the forwards. Magic Celestin at midfield. Tima and Schlotthauer on D for Canton. Magic, red line for Kia on the right side. Back to Celestin. Ridden away from the ball and it's taken there by Delinsky. JD ahead for Sanderson. Knocked away and taken by Tima. Tima with a move around one. Around two feeds left side. Kia into the corner. And Tima goes down. Had it knocked away from him there. And Rudy took it back for the Invaders. Tima lost his shoe. And Team is holding his shoe in his hand, playing with a bare foot. He takes a shot with a bare foot. It goes wide to the left side. And Timmy trots off to the bench, and here comes Pisano in to take his place while Timmy laces up the footwear. Delinsky clears it in the goal box for Tony Pierce. If he had scored with that, he'd have never heard the end of it. It's Tron. Drops it back to Shirovsky, and now Alioto at the red line, left side. Ahead to Tron. Ball taken away by Magic. Celestin, midfield, across the red line. Looks right side for Rudy. Stops, speeds out front. Rudy for Kia. Kia, round one, round two. Ball knocked away by Alioto and controlled by Pierce. 
Kia almost got between the two defenders, and if he did, Pierce was hung out to dry. 5.06 to play in the first quarter. It is Tron working on Pisano. Left side at the Invader red line. Now Magic over to double team. Tron takes it in the corner, and the whistle goes against Oscar on the push. That's the first team foul on Canton. Milwaukee has been whistled for three. We have 4.58 to play in the first quarter. <laughs>
blue line violation for a free kick Hanson. Off. Kia and Rudy Pekosinski up front. Magic at midfield. And Schlotthauer and Timo on defense. 1-1. One, one, the game is tied. This is our contest quarter. Ruth Solby of Canton, our contestant. You'd like to be part of our next contest. Send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number to Lucky Invaders fan, WHBC Radio. Box 9917, Canton, Ohio, 44711. Ball batted down into the invader end, and Swanner has it there in the goal box. Jamie will pick it up and surveys the situation and he likes to put the ball on the floor and come out with it. Feeds red line left side to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer trying to move around Bennett. Bennett with a little bit of a shove and no call. Tima dumps it around Evans ahead for Rudy. Rudy working against Padilla in the Milwaukee defensive end. Tried to heal it in. Rudy ends up getting it back to uh, Celestin. Over to Tima. Now Rudy in the left corner. And back out front on the left side, it comes to Schlotthauer. He'll back it up away from Fry. And uh, Swanner sends it ahead for Tima. Airborne for Schlotthauer, taps it ahead for Magic. He knocks it away from Knezic, back to Walter. Schlotthauer, right side feed to Kia. Kia working on Bennett. There's an interesting matchup. Couple of little guys, couple of quick little guys. And Kia's pass taken away by Fry, ahead to Bennett. And Kia outruns Bennett and steps in front and clears it in the goal area to Swanner. Outlet left side midfield for Schlotthauer, and he shovels it back to Tim Tima. Tima under pressure from Fry. Milwaukee stepping up the defense a little bit this period. Loose at the midfield line. Bennett knocked it away, but a trip call goes against the wave as they got chance. Fry took Celestin down. That's the first foul of the period. 13-36 to play in the first half. The Invaders in Milwaukee tied up at 1-1. Timmy Tima touches it over in play to Jamie Swanner. Swanner, the Invader goalkeeper, outside the red line. Close to the midfield circle, then just leaves it there for Tima. Ahead to Kia. Kia trying to get around Knezic. Magic dumps it down for Rudy. Rudy goes high up in the air and was touched last by Evans. And it'll be a corner kick from the left side for the Invaders with 13.23 to play in the period. Milwaukee will use the break to change lines. Sanderson, Tron, Sharovsky come in. Delinsky and Alioto on defense. Invaders will leave the same five guys in the game. Celestin, the trigger man from the left side. Rudy working out in front of the box, and Kia is back outside the arc. Now Rudy backs away a little bit. Referee is still not giving the okay to start play. Now we're ready to go. Rudy cuts in the left side. Kia the right. They give it to Schlotthauer. He shoots. Good save by Pierce. 
punches it back out to midfield. Schlotthauer drops it back at the red line to Swanner. Swanner's had two assists in the last couple of games. Jamie sends it ahead for Magic, knocked away by Sanderson. Kia on the run, and he beats Surovsky to it. Kia had quite a bit further to go to that ball than Surovsky did. Swanner sends it ahead left side for Kondrich. Tomo in on defense. Tomo move around Sanderson. Tobin touches it back to Kondrich. Tomo's shot fires, blocked by Alioto. Coming the other way is Tron for Milwaukee. Tron drops it back. Alioto forward on the right side. That's uh, Fry ahead to Tron. Tron trying to get around Kondrich. Can't do it. Drop it back to Sanderson. Left side feed to Alioto. Ahead to Surovsky. Sasso Surovsky dishes back midfield to J.D. Delinsky. And now it's Alioto on the left side on Maurer in hot pursuit. And they drop it back in the goal mouth to Pierce. Ahead midfield, Kondrich knocks it away. Delinsky will chase it up against the sideboards, trying to get it around Kramer. And he just does get it in the goal area because Kramer was coming in hard. But Pierce just able to get it. There's a steal by Maurer. Took it away from Alioto. Up the right side, Maurer trying to get inside. He, throw, he shoots through. Kramer could not quite get to that pass in time. He had the left side of the net wide open. Kondrich clears it ahead. Delinsky drops it back midfield. Tron and Kondrich fight with it there. And Tron backs up. Double team knocked away by Maurer. Maurer clears it around Delinsky, but they collide. And the foul goes against Steve Maurer. That's the first one on Canton. And the team fouls even at one apiece. We have 11.52 to play in the first half. The game is tied at 1-1. John Delinsky to put it in play. Touchline left side, about six, seven feet outside the Invader red line. Artie Kramer keeping an eye on him. In the corner, passes ahead of Sanderson. Off the boards by Pisano, ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin on the run up the left side, across midfield. Knocks it away from Sirovsky. Pisano clears ahead for Maurer. Maurer and Bennett fight for it. Maurer with a shot and a good save by Pierce going down to his right. Just did get a hand on that ball. It's cleared out to midfield. Kondrich has it there for Canton. 11.29 to play in the first half. Tobin, left side, down in the corner for Maurer. Wall pass for Art Kramer. Kramer trying to get around Bennett. And he feeds ahead for Tobin. Ball knocked away there. Sliding play by Pisano to take it away. Bennett walks all over Oscar. Oscar will get called for the dangerous play. Louis Bennett came in and walked all over half his body. And Oscar gets the foul call. Second one on the Invaders. 11-17 to play. Louis does not play with a whole lot of regard for the opposition. He doesn't really care if he hurts anybody. Sanderson, midfield on the right side, trying to get around Kramer. Ball deflected by Pisano, but Derek got it back. He feeds Bennett. Bennett through the box in front of Sanderson and knocked out of play by Padilla. Goal kick for the Invaders with 11.06 to play in the first half, and the game tied at 1-1. All the scoring in the first quarter, none in this period so far. We need an Invader goal for Ruth Solby of Canton. Try to win her the dinners at Lolly's and the two Invader tickets. She's already won the United Bank Coffee Mutt. We'll be doing the contest twice on Monday night from Fort Wayne. Get your cards in the mail. 11.06 to play in the period. Swanner drops it out on the right side to Tima. Fry creeps up on D. Timmy directs traffic and dumps it back in the goal box for Swanner. And Jamie will come out through the arc. Out to the red line, ahead to Magic. Back to Swanner. Knezic comes over on him. He feeds right side to Tima. Tima ahead for Schlotthauer. It's ahead of him. Bennett clears it back. And Knezic leaves it for Fry. Fry, red line, shovels it back to Louis Bennett. Bennett right side, winds, fires wide to the left side. Evans after the rebound for Milwaukee. Rudy back on deep. And it's Padilla at midfield now for the wave. Padilla wants Bennett in the left corner. Bennett tried to center, knocked away by Tima. Rudy heads it up in the air. Knocked away by Fry, who threw an elbow as he came in, and that draws the second foul. Tima in the goal box. It comes to Swanner. Jamie will pick it up. Long lead, red line. Kia heads it in the corner, left side for Rudy. Rudy trying to get inside. He does. Off the ball, knocked away by Padilla. Shot by Celestin. Was blocked out front. Kia tries to clear and does for Tim Timo on the point. Tima got around Fry through the middle of the floor for Magic. Ball's loose and knocked away by Evans. And Swanner touches it ahead. Invader red line with it is uh, Walt Schlotthauer. Wants Rudy down on the left side. Rudy having a time with Evans there. And back out front it comes to Schlotthauer. 9.47 in the half. Kia touches back to the Magic man. Celestin working on Knezic. 
And back it comes to Tima. Ahead to pick Kaczynski. Rudy, wall pass, and it's controlled by the goalkeeper, Pierce. Pierce, long lead, and it's intercepted at midfield by Tima. Ahead to Schlotthauer in the circle. Schlotthauer will back it up to the Invader red line. Now in the box for Swanner. One touch right back out to Walter. Walter being hounded by Knezic. Pair of fives go at it. They tried to clear ahead to Magic. The ball was too far, and Evans clears ahead to Peter Knezic. Knezic for Fry. Shot wide. Bennett with a follow. It's out of play. Goal kick Canton. 9-13 to play in period number two. We're tied at 1-1. Milwaukee playing a little more intense defense in this period. And the Invaders uh, having a little bit of a problem reacting to it, although they've had some chances down at the other end. Each team with a pair of fouls. Nobody scored in this period. Each team got a goal in the first. Kramer for Canton, Fry for Milwaukee, and that's where we are, 1-1. Swanner with a goal kick, touches it to Condridge and back to Jamie Swanner. He scoops it up, wants Pisano to move up, and launches it ahead for Steve Maurer. Maurer left side, midfield, back at the red line to Condridge. Tomo, pass blocked by Sanderson. And Pisano and Tron fight for it there. Oscar able to back it in the goal area for Jamie. Swanner touches it out to Pisano. And Pisano outside the arc, back in the goal box for Swanner. Jamie ahead for Condridge, taken away by Sanderson, but he knocked it too far, and Swanner has it back. Long lead for Kramer. Kramer right side midfield, passes behind Tobin, and Sanderson comes the other way for Milwaukee. Sanderson shot blocked by Kramer. Tron heads it back to Derek, but Pisano knocks it away ahead to Maurer. Maurer on the run with Kramer. Maurer across the red line. Artie to his right shot. Blocked by Delinsky, and it's into section 15. And the Invaders will put it in play. Touch line left side at the Milwaukee red line. 8.20 to play in the first half. The game is tied 1-1. Tobin to put it in play for the Invaders. Middle of the floor to Condrich at the red line. Condrich working on Tron and drops it back in the midfield circle to Pisano. Pisano trying to get around Sanderson, and Derek forcing him back to the red line. Oscar will drop it back to Swanner. Swanner will come out, Jamie out across the red line, coming up to midfield with it. He sends it into the left corner, and it's into the stage. Goal kick, Milwaukee. 7.58 to play in the period, and the game is tied at 1-1. It's been a scoreless second quarter so far. Ruth Solby, we're still looking for an invader goal for you. Delinsky taps it back in the goal box for Pierce. Pierce picks it up. Midfield for Sanderson, knocked away by Pisano. And the ball's loose. Delinsky and Pisano fight for it. Both of them out of control. And Delinsky ends up with it ahead to Tron. Back to JD, back to Tron in the corner. Jung Tron, shot, save. Swanner got it right in the chest and grabbed it and held on. Long lead for Kramer. Kramer got behind Sarovsky. Pierce out of the net to knock it away from Artie. And Sarovsky clears ahead for Milwaukee. Now they drop it back to Alioto. Alioto pushes it ahead for Sarovsky. It's too far. And Swanner takes it in the goal area. Jamie, short outlet to Oscar Pisano, right side. Oscar, a couple of steps up on Sarovsky. Tried to get it ahead to Maurer. Long feed, but it was intercepted by Sanderson. Sanderson through the midfield circle. Kramer with him on D. Sanderson right side. He shoots, and Jamie just got a piece of that to knock it wide to the left. Outside it comes Evans. Evans on the point for Milwaukee on the left side. And they want a line change. They'll back it up to Padilla, and he lets it go back in front of the arc to Pierce. Pierce confronted by Maurer. Pass ahead to Fry right side at midfield. Milwaukee on the attack four on three. Fry dumps it in the corner for Bennett. Bennett on Condrich. Wall pass intercepted by Swanner. Jamie holds on. Long lead for Maurer. Knocked it away by Padilla. Ahead to Bennett. Bennett. Canton red line. Pushes it forward for Fry. Back it up to Evans on the left point. Evans, couple of steps in on Tobin. Now Fry on the left side. Bennett clears through the box. Fry can't find him. They dump it in the corner. And Condrich will clear for Canton. Off the boards ahead for Rudy. Rudy taken down by Padilla. And that's the third foul on Milwaukee as the trip call goes against Oscar Padilla of the Milwaukee Wave. 6.15 in the period. The game is tied 1-1. Invaders will put it in play from about four feet inside the Canton red line as soon as we get the soccer ball back. 
Well, Pisano puts it on the red line and now drops it back to Swanner. They want timeout. Invaders take time with 6-11 to play in the first half and the score. Canton 1, Milwaukee 1. As they need to do something about the very aggressive defense that Milwaukee has displayed in this period. You run the risk when you do that, when you run people up front of getting beat back at the other end, but it hasn't happened so far. And the longer you allow a team to do that to you, the more confidence they get when they are playing that style. So the invaders need to uh, find the back of the net at the stage end of the floor here if they can push another one past Tony Pierce to get themselves back in the lead. They led 1-0. Milwaukee tied at 1-1. That's where we are right now. Ball's just inside the box in the Canton end, and Swanner and Tima stand around, ready to put it in play. Jamie to Tima. Tima touches it back to Swanner. He'll pick it up. Fires the outlet for Kia. And Kia right side back to Magic at the red line. Magic working on Knezic. Back at midfield to Tim Tima. Left side to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer with Bennett down in the corner on the left side for Celestin. Magic back to the net. Turns ahead to Kia. Kia turns. He shoots. Good save by Pierce. And Fry controls the rebound for Milwaukee. Clears it out. Tima with a deflection. Timmy with a steal for the Invaders. And he knocked it right to Louis Bennett. Bennett goes the other way. He shoots and a save by Swanner. And the ball is knocked over the glass and out of play. It'll belong to Milwaukee. 5.33 to play in the first half. The game is tied 1-1. And it's been a scoreless second quarter. Evans will put the ball in play for the Milwaukee Wave. And he dumps it in the corner. It's intercepted by Tima. They wanted to get it ahead to Fry. Tima lost the ball to Evans. Back to Bennett. Knocked away by Schlotthauer. Knezic at midfield. Gets around a pick by Padilla. And Evans clears ahead. Kia intercepts that pass. Knocks it for Tima. Tima clears it around the boards. Ahead for Rudy Pekosinski. Ahead to Kia. And Kia lost it for a second and hits Knezic. And Padilla ends up with it at the Milwaukee red line. Across the floor for Knezic. Magic on D. Kia double team. Kia knocked it away. Magic clears to midfield. Taken down by Bennett. And Bennett's going to get two minutes. So the Invaders will go on the power play. Time of the penalty, 9.58. Louis Bennett sits down for two on the trip call. And the Invaders will have their second man advantage. They failed on the first power play of the night. And again, Milwaukee has not been that good of a penalty killing team on the year, only 50%. So the Invaders with a two-minute power play. It's Don Tobin midfield, right side to Pisano. Oscar winds, fires, blocked out front. And the rebound comes out to midfield. Pisano clears to Don Tobin. Minute 48 left of the penalty. Tobin, right side to Oscar. Back at the red line, middle of the floor to Tobin. Toby, back to Pisano. Oscar, couple of steps in, in the corner right side to Kia. Kia back to Oscar, it's over his head. Oscar's got to chase it down. On the run with him is Jeff Rogers. He'll back off. And the Invaders come back on the attack the other way with a minute 25 left in the penalty. Tobin lets it go. Good save by Pierce. Rebound. Schlotthauer knocked out of play. It'll be a corner kick for Canton. A minute 18 left in the penalty. 4.20 to play in the first half. Game is tied 1-1. Power play goal would make a winner out of Ruth Solby. Tobin, the trigger man, left side. Schlotthauer lets it go high off the glass. And Pisano has to chase that rebound all the way back to the Canton red line. Touches it back to Swanner. Ahead left side midfield for Don Tobin. Invaders on the attack. Minute seven in the penalty. Right side feed to Pisano. Oscar back to Toby. He winds. He fires just wide. Rebound back to Tobin. And now it is Pisano on the right side. He lets it go. Wide to the left. Schlotthauer has it. And we have 50 seconds left of the penalty. Pisano left side Toby. Tobin moving to his right. Now feeds the right side to Pisano. 42 seconds. Tobin winds, fires, no. Rebound Pisano. He fires, no. Rebound knocked away by Alioto. Cleared to Kia at the red line, and he has to back away from Jeff Rogers. 31 seconds left in the man advantage. Don Tobin, red line. Looks to the left, to the right. Feeds right. Pisano fires. It hits Rudy in the back and goes out of play, and that'll be a goal kick. 
for Milwaukee with 23 seconds left in the penalty and 325 remaining in the first half. 1-1, we're tied up. Invaders with their second man advantage. Louis Bennett is in the box on the trip call. And it'll be Pierce to put it in play for Milwaukee as they'll try to chew some clock off of this penalty. Invaders will try to get one more rush, but before we do anything else, Milwaukee will call timeout to talk things over with 325 remaining. We'll tell you our halftime guest is Invader goalkeeper Bill Namos. Second time Milwaukee's been here this year. We don't go to Milwaukee until late. First time we're in Milwaukee is February 7th. They're there again on the 26th of February. And the final game of the regular season is in Milwaukee on March 28th. So they play the three road games up there in Milwaukee late in the year. Milwaukee's here one more time. February 22nd is Sunday. Pierce to put the ball in play for the wave on the goal kick. Again, 23 seconds left in the Milwaukee penalty to Louis Bennett. Jeff Rogers is picking cherries all the way down here on the other side. And let's see if Pierce just dumps it long. He does. And it's too long. It's a three-line violation. So Milwaukee squanders a chance to burn some clock up. They only took three seconds off. And the Invaders will have 20 seconds of penalty left and starting play at the Milwaukee red line. So they're right back uh, in, in fairly decent shape with a chance to get another opportunity as Milwaukee commits the three-line violation. Pisano fires. It goes beyond Rudy. Schlotthauer chases it down, dumps it out to Tobin. Right side it comes to Pisano. And we have 10 seconds in the penalty. Tobin shot, rebound, Kia, ridden away by Alioto, and the ball is controlled by Pierce. And four seconds left in the penalty outlet midfield for Jeff Rogers. Tobin gets inside him. The penalty is over. Bennett back out on the floor. So Milwaukee able to kill off the second one. Schlotthauer has it at the Invader red line. Both teams get their specialty units off and get regular lines in. Here comes Tima. Ahead to uh, Rudy at the red line. Now back to Tima. Left side at midfield to Schlotthauer. 242 and a half. Walter's shot blocked by Delinsky. Magic trying to get it up in the air on Bennett. It bounces off the top of the boards. J.D. lost the ball to Schlotthauer. Bennett clears. Long lead for Lee Rogers. And we've got a whistle as I believe it hit into the uh, box. And I think they say it might have hit uh, the Milwaukee player. Yeah, so it'll be Canton's ball. It hit the post, I think, on the Invader bench. And might have hit Randy Pekosinski there, too. Either that or the guy on the other side of the bar there. 2.31 to play in the first half. The game is tied 1-1. Invaders to put the ball in play. We've had no scoring in the second period so far. And we're ready to go as soon as the official says we can put the ball in play. And here we go. Schlotthauer to Magic Celestin. Celestin lost the ball to Jung Tron. Tron trying to get ahead. Sanderson got behind a man, but Tron could not get the pass to him. Tron with a shot. Swanner with a save. Rebound popped loose, but Jamie able to pounce on it. 2.16 to play in the half. Kia ahead to Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer with Sarovsky left side. Walter lost the ball off the board. Sarovsky tries to clear back. Does. Delinsky ahead to Tron. Tron has to wait to control that ball. Kia on D. Tron able to spin move. Kia knocked it back. Tron sends it ahead. It's uh, Sanderson working on team. A minute 58 and a half. And back to Delinsky on the left point. J.D. a couple of steps ahead. This is Chance Fry. Back to Delinsky. And back at midfield to Tim Alioto. A minute 48 and a half. Alioto off the head of Sharofsky. And Swanner catches it on the first top. Tron was clearing in and had some ideas up the left side. But Swanner controls. Kia ahead. Passes for Sanderson. De deflected by Sanderson. Taken by Magic for Canton. Sanderson to Pekosinski. Pekosinski on Alioto to Magic. He shoots it and hit Delinsky in the back of the ankle. And it's going to be a handball. And I think they're going to give Ma Magic two minutes on it. So Milwaukee will have a man advantage. With uh, the time of the penalty, 13.32. So Milwaukee will have a minute 28 in this period, and if they don't score, they'll have 32 seconds in the third period. First penalty on the Invaders in the game. As Celestin gets two minutes for the handball. So Milwaukee will go on the power play on the year 13 of 42 with a man advantage. 41%, the Invader penalty killer, 72% success rate. 
They've given up nine goals in 32 man down situations. First power play opportunity of the night for Milwaukee. They have killed off two Canton penalties. Frick, Kramer, Tima, and Kondrich in to kill the penalty for Canton. Bennett, Knezic, Alioto, Delinsky, and Evans, the power play team for Milwaukee. Wall pass by Alioto, knocked away by Tima. They clear it out. Delinsky at the red line, dumps it in the corner. It hits Bennett in the shoulder. Bennett clears out. It's behind uh, Alioto on the point. He's got to chase it down at midfield. Minute six and a half. We won't worry about the penalty time at the moment because the penalty lasts longer than the quarter. Alioto, wine fires, no, rebound, knocked away by Tima. Tried to get it ahead to Frick, it's over his head. Delinsky chases it down in the Milwaukee end. 51 seconds and a half. J.D. passes ahead to Evans. Evans midfield, left side at the red line, down in the corner, Knezic. Wall pass, he didn't get all of it, and Swanner controls that easily. Long lead for Art Kramer. Artie working on J.D. and back it up, Knezic, and he gets the trip. And that's the fourth foul on Milwaukee. Tima puts it in play for Canton. A hit off the sideboards for Steve Frick. 31 seconds in the half. Frick for Kramer out front. Kramer inside J.D. Ball got loose in the goal box. Pierce controls for Milwaukee. 24 seconds in the half. Knezic left side at midfield. Knocks it back to Evans. 18 seconds. And Pierce clears ahead for Alioto. High off his foot. Evans controls with 11 seconds ahead for Bennett weak shot controlled by Swanner seven seconds in the period long lead for Frick Frick on Delinsky two seconds one that's halftime with a score the invaders won and Milwaukee won a scoreless second period and we're sorry Ruth Solby that means we're not able to give you the two invader tickets or the dinner for two at Lolly's but we do have the United Bank coffee mug for you and we'll pass that along to you the Invaders uh, tied up 1-1 with Milwaukee. Defensive struggle as we go in at halftime. We'll look at that uh, and have our halftime interviews and everything else in just a moment. City, and it's just like the Invaders. Invaders have control of the soccer field. Entourage has control of the dance. So ladies and gentlemen, if you would please welcome the Michael Ball Agencies, Entourage. And the Invaders will try to get the lead back here in this period. Tied up at 1-1. It'll be uh, Maurer out there along with Tobin and probably Kramer. Tima is out to, to start on defense, and that should mean Schlotthauer would also be there. Although Walter is not on the floor yet. And now Tobin steps off into the bench, so I'm not sure who you're going to see starting. Guys on the floor for Milwaukee are Bennett, Knezic, Alioto, Delinsky, and Evans. Pierce still in goal. Swanner in for Canton. Invaders will attack from our right to our left here in the third quarter. Or they will be going away. They'll be defending the goal at the stage end of the Civic Center, if you're familiar with the layout here. Milwaukee will be on the power play to start, so I imagine you'll see Team of Frick, uh, Tomo, and probably Artie. <laughs> Tima, Kondrich, and Frick are out there, and now Artie comes out. <laughs> Artie fashionably late for the start of the second half, but we're ready to go now. And the Invader penalty killers have 28 seconds worth of work to do here. And then the Invaders will set out on uh, trying. Of course, these guys are looking for shorthanded goals, but right now you're looking to kill the penalty and then try to get back in the uh, in the uh, lead situation. Ball knocked away by Frick, taken down by Knezic, and that's the first foul on Milwaukee. Tima puts it in play quickly ahead to Kramer. Kramer trying to get around J.D. Ball tapped away, and Knezic has it at midfield with 11 seconds left of the penalty. And it's Evans, left side at the red line, across the floor, and the right side to Alioto. Four seconds in the penalty, shot blocked by Tima, up over the glass and out of play. And now just two seconds left in the uh, Invader penalty, which is being served by Magic. It was on him for the handball. And Milwaukee will pull the power play unit and put a regular line out there. 
First time we have seen Jim Ross in the lineup tonight for Milwaukee. He comes in with four points on the year, two goals, two assists. Also the first time we have seen Mark Bickham, who does not have any points on the year. They're out there along with Delinsky and uh, Lee Rogers and Jeff Rogers. Outside, Delinsky with a shot. That one's in the stage. And the Invaders will have a goal kick, and that will kill the penalty. Pisano steps on the floor along with Tobin. And the Invaders will pull their special unit out now. Frick trotting off, and Maurer steps in. And when the penalty is over, uh, Celestin will hop in the bench, and I would imagine you'll see uh, either Kramer or Kia coming out. Tap it over to Condrich and back in the box to Swanner. And the penalty's over. And Magic steps to the bench, and Randy Pikasinski will get his first action. And Milwaukee picks up the second foul as uh, Lee Rogers, or rather Jeff Rogers, is called for pushing off on Pisano. 14-24 to play in the period. A couple of fresh legs in the game for Milwaukee, and one set of fresh legs in the form of Randy Pikasinski in there for Canton. It's Maurer, left side, out front, Tobin, he's open for the shot, just tapped away by Pierce, and Randy Pikasinski on the run to Pisano to Tobin. Tobin had the ball knocked away, and coming up the floor with it for Milwaukee was Bickham, but he lost it, and Condrich able to clear to Swanner ahead to Tobin at midfield, he can't control, and Milwaukee will come back the other way. It is uh, Jeff Rogers, and he dishes the ball back to Ross. Now Delinsky, left point. Bickham in the corner, wall pass Rogers. Weak shot, partially deflected. It goes into the corner. Centering ball out front is behind Bickham, and Randy Pikasinski comes the other way for Canton. Randy with Maurer clearing around one, around two, ahead to Maurer on the right side. Off the boards, actually hit the referee, comes back to Condridge. 13-33 to play in the third quarter. We're tied at 1-1. Tobin ahead to Randy. And back at midfield now is Oscar Pisano against Bickham. Pisano back to the Canton red line. Forward for Randy Pikasinski at the Milwaukee red line. Randy working on J.D. Tobin off the boards for Maurer. Maurer tried to tap it to J.D., but the ball was knocked away by Lee Rogers. Chased down at midfield by Pisano. And Pisano is tripped. And that's the... Second foul on Milwaukee on Bickham. Scoreboard says two. I'm not sure that it isn't three. Pisano, slow getting up. Now he's on his feet. 13-10 to play in the half. And Toby dumps it ahead. It's knocked away by Lee Rogers. Toby fights with Bickham for it. Drop it back to Condrich. Condrich in the goal area for Swanner. Swanner, long lead, right side midfield for Randy Pikasinski. Off the sideboards, back to Pisano. Pisano dumps it away from Ross. And Swanner clears a hand to Tobin at the red line. Shovels it over to Maurer. Maurer looking for a feed in the corner. It's Randy. Randy to Maurer. He scores! <laughs> Steve Maurer from Randy Pikasinski. The Invaders lead 2-1. to one. Time of the goal, 2.15 of the third period. Steve Maurer picks up his 10th goal. And for Randy Pikasinski, it is assist number three on the season. And the Invaders take the lead, two to one. Nice feed from Randy to an open Maurer in front of the net. And he just tapped it into the left side. Didn't really have to hit it that hard. He had the excellent position and easily beat Pierce on the play. The Invaders lead two to one. It's Rudy Pikasinski with Kia, and Kramer will play midfield on this line now, and it's Schlotthauer and Timo on defense. You've got Bennett, Knezic, Fry, Evans, and Padilla on the floor for Milwaukee. It's Evans, left side midfield. Tima knocks it away from Fry. Fry gets the call, the penalty on Tima. Timmy got mostly ball, and Fry did a little bit of an acting job and got the first foul on Canton. 12.40 to play in the third quarter. The Invaders now lead 2-1 to one on the Steve Maurer goal and the Randy Pikasinski assist. The pass blocked by Rudy, knocked away by Kia, cleared back. It's up in the air, and it'll bounce. Knezic will try to hit it. Rudy with a deflection, but Knezic dumps it into Louis Bennett. Bennett wall pass. Tima had possession, and this time you're going to get two minutes on Tima. What for? I'm not sure. I think they're going to give them both two minutes. I think you're going to get Tima and Fry for two. Fry 
Fry took a real shot dive into the boards. Tima got out of the way, and Fry crashed in, and they exchanged uh, a few pleasantries, and both of them are going to sit down. The time of the twin penalties will be 2.34 of the third period, so we'll play four on four for a while. Tima gets only his second penalty of the year after leading the league with 38 last year. It's 2-1 Canton. We will play four on four. So Fry and Tima both draw on sportsmanlike conduct penalties. And the Invaders will put Schlotthauer, Kondrich, Frick, and Rudy on the floor. It'll be Evans, Delinsky, Jeff Rogers, and Knezic out there for Milwaukee. So we play four on four for two minutes. Swanner's outlet pass is headed up in the air by Knezic, but Kondrich able to clear back in the invader zone. And Swanner sends it airborne for Randy, knocked away by Evans. And Kondrich in a race for it. Tomo drops it back, and a head ball knocked away by Knezic. Knezic got a man out front. Rogers had the pass hit him in the heel. And he has to chase it back out to the red line. Rogers inside on the right side. Kondrich, and he fight for the ball in the corner. Now Rogers comes out front. And Tomo chases him back close to the red line. Now midfield to Delinsky. Left side over there with it is uh, Evans. And they'll drop it back in the goal area. And uh, Pierce's outlet headed up in the air by Schlotthauer. Now headed away from Delinsky by Rudy. J.D. got a foot on it. And Rudy controls at the red line. Down in the corner for, for Steve Frick. Frick dumps it back out front. Schlotthauer to Rudy. Rudy around one. He shoots. Oh, what a play by Pierce. Nifty whipping shot by... Pekosinski and Pierce did well to get to that. We have about 54 seconds left in the penalty. Trip call goes against Kondrich. And no power play here, so if there's a goal, both these guys stay in for the full two minutes. 11-19 to play in the third period. Invaders 2, Milwaukee 1. Knezic drops it back at midfield to J.D. John Delinsky. Sends it ahead. Rogers lets it clear. Swanner out of the net. Clears it around Knezic. Ahead to Rudy. Rudy clears to midfield. Delinsky waits for it there. Dumps it back in the box for Pierce. Pass intercepted by Schlotthauer to Frick. He shoots wide. Rebound Kia. And Kia looking for a feed out front and clears it back to Kondrich. And it's uh, Fricky in the corner. Frick out front. And he dumps it back out front. 21 seconds left in the penalty. Down in the corner it comes to Kia. Back to Kondrich. Shot deflected and knocked out by Delinsky. Ahead, here comes Jeff Rogers up the left side of the floor for Milwaukee. Jeff Rogers outrun by Kondrich, who taps it in. Swanner took a kick from Jeff Rogers. No call. And three seconds left in the twin penalties. Kia, right side at the Canton red line. The penalties are over. And Kia got around one, got around two, ridden away from the ball by Lee Rogers. Frick in the corner goes down, and uh, Sasio Sarovsky back in for Milwaukee, trying to come out with it. Dumps it out in front of the uh, goal area to Evans. Evans out to the red line, heals it back to Lee Rogers, back in the box to Pierce. He scoops it up, outlet, red line right side to Tim Alioto. Ten minutes to play in the third quarter. The Invaders lead 2-1. Alioto ahead for Sanderson, but Kondrich beats him to the corner. Knocked it right out front to Tron, however. Tron working on Pisano, drops it back. Shot by Sarovsky, blocked by Kondrich. Ahead it comes to Schlotthauer. Walter at the red line for Canton. Across the midfield line on the left side. Ahead across the Milwaukee red line to Frick. Sarovsky stepped in front, deflected the ball in the goal area. Pierce rolls the outlet on the left side to Tron. Tron across the midfield line, picked up by Schlotthauer into the invader zone, left side, and Pisano beats him into the boards in the corner. Double team, Pisano had the ball knocked away by Sanderson. Now Tron, ball stolen by Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer clears back for Pisano. Off the boards around Tron, Oscar got it back. Here comes Oscar on the attack. He got around two guys, he's open up the right side. He shoots wide, rebound came out behind Kia. Frick on the run, pushed off by Sarovsky, no call. And Tron coming the other way for Milwaukee, knocked away from behind by Pisano. And here's Don Tobin for Canton, right side at midfield to Kia. 8.58 to play in the quarter. Kia on the dead run, around one, around two, and Pierce slides out and takes them all away. 
Sanderson, left side at midfield for Milwaukee. Coming in on the uh, defense, slot is uh, Pisano, blocked the shot. Sanderson got the rebound, took another wide to the right. Tobin controls this rebound ahead to Pisano, and now Tobin up the left side of the floor. Tobin passes around Knezic for Randy Pikasinski and is taken away by Alioto. Randy on the run with Alioto. Alioto took a dive and got the call after hitting Randy twice with the elbow. And that's the third foul on the Invaders. And team fouls even at three apiece. 8.27 to play in the period. Alioto to put the ball in play for Milwaukee. If there was any contact, it was very light, and Alioto went down like a heap in the corner. In the corner, the pass goes to Knezic. Knezic, ball knocked away by Randy, ahead to Don Tobin. Tobin clearing up the left side, working on Knezic. Toby spins, drops it back in the invader defensive zone to Tomo Kondrich. 8-12 in the period. Kondrich through the midfield circle, ahead to Maurer. Maurer, left side feed to Tobin, back at midfield to Kondrich. Ahead in the corner, left side for Maurer. Up in the air, wanted Tobin. It was too far for him. Bennett in the corner, wants to clear, dumps it back in the goal box for Pierce. Pierce, long outlet, midfield. It is Derek Sanderson. Sanderson stops the invader red line, comes in, moves in on Pisano. Shot rejected by Oscar. Out to Padilla. Padilla, red line, 7.45 in the period. Bennett with a shot. That one's in the stage. Goal kick invaders. With 7.43 to play in the third quarter. Canton 2, Milwaukee 1. We're tied 1-1 at the half. The only goal of this half belongs to the Invaders. Steve Maurer from Randy Pikasinski at 2.15 of the third period. Swanner will put the ball in play in front of the goal mouth for Canton. Invaders lead 2-1. Next broadcast, 6.55 airtime on 94 FM, 7.05 kickoff from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Monday night. The Invaders' next home game a week from tonight, January 2nd, and they will be taking on the Memphis Storm. That's an 8.05 kickoff time. Long ball for Kia, knocked away by Evans, but Kia able to get it back. He gets held, no call. They step inside, and now the hold goes on Kia. That's the fourth foul on Canton. 7.29 to play in the period. In fairness to these guys, this isn't nearly as bad as it was in Toledo last Saturday. Pierce... Long lead ahead to Evans. Evans sends it airborne on the run. Swanner heads it out of play. It goes up over the glass and out. And they will put it back in play for uh, Toledo just inside the Invader red line. Touchline right side of the floor. Seven minutes and 13 seconds to play in the third quarter. Four fouls on Canton, three on Milwaukee. The Invaders have the only goal of the period. And they lead 2-1. to one. Both teams are 0-2 for 2 on the power play tonight. Knezic drops it back. Middle of the floor, red line to Padilla. Tried to get it in. Uh, Bennett having trouble with Tima in the corner. Kia with a deflection. Out front, Fry ridden away. Fry took a dive and didn't get the call this time. Fry acting like he was tripped and there was nobody within a couple of feet of him. And coming up the floor is Tima. Tima, long lead for Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to get around Padilla. Clears it out on the point to Tima. Wants Kia out front, but he can't control the ball, and Bennett clears for Milwaukee. Up the floor with it is Fry. Fry right side in the Canton defensive zone. Tima stepped in front of him on the boards and rolls it around the arc and into the waiting hands of Jamie Swanner. Outlet straight out in front to Schlonhauer. Now right side feed at midfield to Art Kramer. Kramer through the circle now and drops it back to Tima. And ahead it comes to Rudy Pikasinski. Pikasinski trying to get inside. A man does. Wants a wall pass. Tia scores! Pierce came out of the net, and Kia had nothing but a wide-open, gaping net. And he put it in, and the Invaders lead 3-1. to one. For Kia, it will be goal number 10 on the season. And for Rudy, his ninth assist. Mark the time of the goal down at 8.38 of the third period. And the Invaders lead 3-1. to one. So Rudy and Randy both have assists tonight. Pisano has one. Kramer, Maurer, and Kia have the goals. It's 3-1 to one, Canton. Rudy timed that very well. He forced the keeper, Pierce, to commit himself. Pierce came out. He found Kia wide open, and Kia had the easy goal right into the empty net. 
Condridge clears the kickoff ahead to Maurer. Maurer ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Randy into the Milwaukee zone. Ball knocked away by Delinsky, but taken on the point right side by Tobin. He fires, blocked out front, and uh, hits somebody on the hand, one of the invaders. That's the fifth foul on Canton, so they got to be careful with 6.06. One more foul, and they go into the... Uh, Man down situation. Halftime, Memphis three, Toledo nothing. Milwaukee sends it ahead. It's Jung Tron working on Condrich. Tobin over to double team. Tron trying to get inside. Comes back after the ball and clears it out at midfield to Delinsky. JD picked up by Maurer. And JD dumping down and nobody home out front. Oh, look at the holding. Sanderson grabs a hold of Pisano. There's the call. And that's the fourth foul on Milwaukee. That was about as flagrant as you're going to get. Sanderson had the arm solidly around Oscar's left side. Long lead midfield for Pisano. Heels it ahead for Maurer and back to Pisano. Red line. Once Randy, Pierce out of the net, knocks it in the corner. Randy double teamed out there, trying to clear it into Maurer, but Pierce controls for Milwaukee. Outlet Sanderson, red line, right side. And Derek sending ahead, and Randy stepped in front and knocked it away. Oscar tried to send it back to Randy, but Delinsky has it for Milwaukee. His pass in, headed away by Pisano. J.D. dumps it in the corner. Oscar trying to clear, got around uh, both Sanderson and Delinsky ahead to Randy Pekosinski. Randy trying to get around Tron, clears it ahead for Kondrich. Sanderson backs away on D, and Tomo dumps it back in the arc uh, for Pisano. 4.53 to play in the third quarter. Oscar midfield left side to Tobin. He touches it back to Condridge. Back ahead to Toby and back to Pisano. Long lead and it's a three line violation. Oscar had just stepped behind the red line and launched it too far. 4.43 to play in the third quarter. It's three to one. One more foul on the invaders would put Milwaukee in the man advantage. Milwaukee has only one to give. They have four fouls in the period. 3-1 to one the score. The Invaders have touched uh, Tony Pierce for a pair of goals in this period to take the lead after we were tied 1-1 at the half. Tron double teamed to the left side. Randy deflects the ball ahead to Don Tobin. Toby trying to get around Sierofsky and has to back it up in his own end. Clears it off the boards and Condridge clears to the middle of the floor, but Alioto has it there. Alioto tried to pass it up and it bounced off the knee of Pisano. Alioto got it back over to Tron in front of the arc. 4-20 in the period. Tron down in the corner. Wall pass. Nobody home out front. Alioto with a shot blocked, and Pisano clears. And it hits Tobin, and Toby controls ahead to Randy Pikasinski. Randy up the right side. Oh, Maurer had gotten behind Alioto, but J.D. with a piece of the ball. And Alioto comes the other way for Milwaukee. Now Delinsky midfield circle. John across the red line for Canton, working on uh, Pisano. There's a shot and a goal by Alioto. Delinsky will get the assist, and Milwaukee cuts it to 3-2. Alioto with the goal. It's his uh, fourth of the season. J.D. has assist number six. The time of the goal is 11.04. And so Milwaukee not going to roll over and die yet. They've cut the lead back down to one. It's 3-2. Alioto from Delinsky at 11.04. And it's a 3-2 game. And Milwaukee still right in it. The Invaders got the two quick ones, and now Milwaukee answers back. Rudy Pikasinski with Kia and Kramer, and Tima and Schlotthauer on defense for Canton. Knezic, Fry, and Bennett up front for Milwaukee. And it is uh, Padilla and Evans on defense. Here's Kramer clearing into the right corner. Kramer and Knezic fight for it. And now Kia over to help out, and they dump it back outside. Tima, Tima feeds left side Schlotthauer. He wants the shot, and it's bounced off. Yeah, I think it hit Rudy on the deflection and then somebody else for Milwaukee. Tima controls on the right point, trying to get inside Bennett. And he leaves it for Rudy, heals it back for Tima, trying to get inside Padilla, can't do it. It rolls in the box and Pierce controls. 3.20 left in the third quarter. Bennett sends it long. Knezic has it right side at the Canton red line, working on Kramer. And Knezic tries to send it out front. Sliding play by Tima to knock it in the corner. Bennett put it up in the air. It's over the glass and out of play. And they say it was touched last by one of the invaders. And it'll be a corner kick for Milwaukee. Three minutes and seven seconds to play in the third quarter. Invaders three and Milwaukee two. Now what are they going to do? Now they throw it over to the other side. And they'll put it in play from the right corner. It'll be Knezic, the trigger man for Milwaukee. 
Fry clears through. Evans with a shot blocked by Pikasinski and knocked out of play by Knezic, but they're going to give it to Milwaukee. I might have hit Artie. Okay. And the wave will put it in play. Touchline right side. Oh, about 8, 10 feet inside the red line. 3.04 left in the third quarter. Canton 3, Milwaukee 2. Knezic shot deflected out front by Schlotthauer. And Rudy controls, drops it back to Tima. And he pushes it up on the right side of the floor to Rudy. Long lead, he wants Artie. Kramer, red line left side of the Milwaukee end of the floor. Dumps it down in the corner. And Milwaukee will try to clear. Bennett can't get it. Kramer trying to keep it in on the point. Dumps it into Kia. Bennett has it for Milwaukee. Louis Bennett, right side at the wave red line. Clears it ahead. Schlotthauer with a deflection. And that prevented Chance Fry from getting that pass. And Kramer dumps it in the goal box for Swanner. Swanner moved to get away from Knezic and clears it up on the left side to Kramer. 2.28 to play in the third quarter. Kramer to Swanner ahead to Kia. Kia midfield. And Kia clears it across the floor for Walt Schlotthauer. Now Kia, red line left side in the Milwaukee end. Back out midfield to Schlotthauer. Right side to Tima. Tima working on Bennett, pushes it ahead for Rudy. Rudy in the right corner, back to the net against Evans. And on the point, it comes to Kramer, back to Tima, touches it over to Rudy, back to Timmy Tima on the right side. Two minutes to play in the third quarter. Tima backing out to the red line on Bennett, dumps it down. Rudy in the corner, trying to get inside. Evans, wall pass. Oh, Kramer just missed it. Right in front of the net. They had Bennett, they had Bennett and Pierce beat on the play. But they just missed connections on the pass. There's Tima with a steal at the other end. Minute 43 left in the third quarter. Tima ahead to Rudy, ball deflected, and coming the other way for Milwaukee is Chance Fry. Invaders have four guys back on D, and Milwaukee in the line change. Fry with a shot, that's in the stage. Invaders will have a goal kick with a minute 31 in the quarter. Now, what's important to watch here, the Invaders have gone four and a half minutes without committing the sixth foul. Milwaukee has four. They could commit two in a minute 31. They could go in the man down, too. The next foul on the Invaders puts them a man down. If they can go a minute 31 without that, they start over fresh in the fourth quarter with uh, six fresh fouls. Goal kick Invaders. Swanner taps it over to Kondrich. And Tomo dishes back in the goal area to Jamie Swanner. I think they may chew a little clock here. Swanner scoops it up, taking their time. Long lead. They want Randy Pikasinski. Red line right, left side of Milwaukee. Randy double teamed. Knocked away by Sierowski. Tobin clears over to Maurer. And Delinsky knocks it away from Maurer. J.D. erasing the corner. Bad pass. Maurer out front. And there's the sixth foul. And J.D. got it on a dive. He got it on a dive. There was no foul there, but the invaders will go shorthanded. Time of this penalty will be 13.50 of the period. First time the Invaders have had the sixth foul infraction called. Milwaukee had it in the first quarter. So the Wave 0 for 2 on the power play. They'll get another chance now. On the year coming in, 31% of the power play. The Invaders have killed off 72% of their penalties. So Milwaukee will have the man advantage. A minute 10 left in this period, and then 50 seconds into the next one. Invaders lead it 3-2 to two with a minute 10 left in the third quarter. We'll keep track of the quarter time right now because the penalty, again, is longer than the quarter. If the Invaders kill this much, they would have the kickoff at the start of the fourth and a chance to chew up a little more penalty time. Delinsky drops it in the goal box for Pierce. Outlet on the left side at the red line to Evans. Invader penalty killers, Tim Tima, Tom Kondrich, Art Kramer, and Steve Frick. Power play unit for Milwaukee. Delinsky, Evans, Ali Odo, Knezic, and uh, Bennett. 52 seconds left in the quarter. Evans has it on the left point. Back it up in the midfield circle to Delinsky. Delinsky has suddenly become a villain in the eyes of some of the Canton fans down below. That's got to feel funny for him because he's used to being cheered in this building. Not tonight. Alley out to Knezic. 36 seconds. Evans left side. Shot blocked by Kramer. Headed up in the air. Out of play. It'll belong to Canton with 32 seconds left in the quarter. Invaders a man down. Third time tonight Milwaukee has had the man advantage situation. They failed on the first two. The Invaders are 0 for 2 on power plays. Swanner taps it over to Tima. Back to Swanner. 28 seconds left in the quarter. Jamie, outlet for Frick, headed up in the air, and there's the fifth foul 
on Milwaukee. It goes on Delinsky. And now one more foul by Milwaukee would put the invade would kill off the penalty in effect and give the invaders a power play. A little later, Frick off the boards, he shoots, he scores! Oh, what a play by Steve Frick! He took it away from Delinsky. He tapped it off the boards to himself. Pierce tried to come out, didn't get there, and Fricky scores a shorthanded goal. 4-2 Invaders. Beautiful play by Steve Frick. It comes at 14-41 of the period. For Fricky on the year, it's his sixth, seventh goal. Beautiful play by Frick. And it's unassisted. 11 seconds of the period. Invaders still a man down. And there's the sixth foul on Bennett, and there goes the penalty. Bennett pushing off on Tima. And there's the sixth foul on Milwaukee. So kill off the penalty. And the Invaders will have a man advantage in 59 seconds. So they'll have a minute one of power play. And they will have an opportunity to do something with it. Boy, you do not want to commit the sixth foul with nine seconds left in the period, but that's what Louis Bennett just did. So the Invaders no longer a man down. They kill off the penalty and get a shorthanded goal to boot. And they take the lead four to two. And it was a stupid foul by Bennett, really because the ball was in the Canton defensive zone and they're going to have power play for another 50 seconds in the period. Bennett just getting impatient. Move around team, a ball knocked away from behind by Frick and that's the end of the third quarter. With a score, the Canton Invaders four, the Milwaukee Wave two. We'll come back in a moment. You can get pizza, chicken, pasta and subs at Toledo, three to nothing. That's the only other game being played in the league tonight. Tomorrow in the AISA, Chicago's at Toledo, Louisville's at Tampa Bay, and then Louisville will host Chicago on Sunday. The Invaders are next in action Monday. We'll have it for you on 94 FM from Fort Wayne, Indiana. The Invaders against the Fort Wayne Flames, 7.05 kickoff, and our airtime will be 6.55. The Invaders' next home game a week from tonight. Friday, January 2nd, against the Memphis Storm. 8.05 kickoff time. Tickets available at all Ticketron locations, or rather Ticketmaster locations, and at the Invaders Ticket Office here at the Civic Center. We're ready to go in the fourth quarter. It's Rudy Pikasinski, Frick, Schlotthauer, and Kondrich for Canton. Ross, Alioto, Lee Rogers, and Evans for Milwaukee. 14.46 to play in the period and we have now 32 seconds left in the invader penalty before they start the power play swanner dumps it ahead left side to schlotthauer now on the right side at the red line to condrich tomo out across the red line and drops it back to schlotthauer and the invaders want to hang around until they get the power play to start here there are 12 seconds left in the canton penalty this way they'll get the benefit of the full power play swanner outside the red line six seconds in the penalty Swanner hanging on. Milwaukee didn't put any pressure on him. And the penalty's over. Pisano steps out on the floor. And the Invaders are now in the man advantage. Walt Schlotthauer coming through the midfield circle. And Tobin will set it up as we get ready to go on the power play. 41 seconds left in the man advantage. Tobin. Out front, Pisano right side, he fires, it hits somebody in the face out front. Kia to Rudy, Rudy back out to Pisano, 38 seconds left in the penalty. Tobin, red line, right side, Pisano. And now it is Don Tobin. Oscar winds, fires, wide rebound, Rudy knocked out of play. And it'll be a corner kick for the Invaders from the right side. 
Neither team has scored on the power play. Milwaukee 0 of 3, Canton 0 of 2, and they have 21 seconds left in this power play. Tobin will put it in play from the right side in the corner. Rudy's out in front of the arc. Kia a little bit outside him. Rudy cuts through the box. Kia comes in behind. Right side to Pisano. Now back at the red line to Schlotthauer. And Pisano, a couple of steps in. 11 seconds in the penalty. Pisano down in the corner for Kia. Kia through the box to Rudy. Couldn't get it. Schlotthauer with a follow. It's blocked out of play by Lee Rogers. Three seconds left in the penalty. Three seconds left to go in the penalty. And Schlotthauer will put it in play for the Invaders. And we will change a couple of personnel. Kramer and Tima come off the bench. Tobin trots back. And Pisano will sit down. So they will have their line in place for the rest of the time. It'll be Kramer at midfield with Rudy and Kia up front. And Schlotthauer and Timo on defense. And Milwaukee makes some substitutions. Tron is in. Padilla is in. J.D. stays. And... Uh, Sarovsky is the fourth man out there for Milwaukee. Schlotthauer to put it in play out to Tima. Right side to Kramer. Penalty's over. Jeff Rogers back on the floor for Milwaukee. Kramer around one, taken down. And, oh, he started to reach for the two-minute card, but it'll just be the regular foul on Sarovsky. Trip on Kramer. Artie comes up limping and heads immediately for the invader bench. That's the first foul on either team in the period. Kramer hobbling off. Don Tobin steps back on. And Tima with a shot deflected by Jeff Rogers. Tron coming the other way. And Kramer in a little bit of pain. Tron up the left side. Feeds through the box. Tima blocked it. Sliding play by Timmy. Schlotthauer sends it ahead for Kia. Kia right side at midfield on the boards. Oh, he burned Delinsky. Kia tried to feed Rudy. It was knocked away. And they clear it back out. And J.D. comes the other way. Delinsky, they got a two-on-one. Delinsky with Tron. Tima blocked the pass. Good play by Tima. Kia hard off the boards, and they drop it back to Tima, and now back in the goal box for Swanner. Long lead. He wanted Rudy, but it was knocked away there by Padilla. Kia clears ahead, and uh, Sarowski lost the ball. Rudy got it back around one. He shoots. He scores! The Invaders lead by three. Rudy Pekazinski. Took it away from Sarowski, then made a nice move to get himself around him. And then he just buried it into the right side of the net. Pierce never had a chance. Time of the goal is 2.41. Rudy Pikasinski gets goal number 18 on the season. To go along with nine assists. And they're going to give that one unassisted as well. And the Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Evans with it for Milwaukee. Now back in front of the arc to the keeper, Pierce. Long lead, headed up. They want Bennett. Bennett got off a weak shot. Pisano had good position on defense. Kondrich and Fry fight for it in the corner. Tomo able to heal it away from Fry, and Tomo clears up the left side of the floor himself. Tom Kondrich ahead to Maurer in the corner. Maurer working on Padilla. Padilla stepped inside and steered the ball into the keeper, Pierce. Outlet, red line on the left side to Bennett. Bennett ahead for Fry, and Fry couldn't control it, got around him, and Pisano has it in the invader defensive zone. Oscar drops it over to Don Tobin in the arc. He clears it back to Pisano. Right corner of the box, ahead midfield. Ball knocked away by Knezic, and Peter Knezic drops it back to Bennett. Bennett lead up the right side of the floor for uh, Evans. Evans clears it back to Louis Bennett. 11-24 left in the game. Invaders by three. Fry wants the wall pass. Knocked away by Tobin. And Randy Pikasinski comes up the left side of the floor. He's got Maurer in front. Randy across the red line. Around one. Tripped. And that could be two. And no, it'll just be the uh, regular foul. That will go against uh, Fry. It's the second one on Milwaukee in the period. 11-11 to play. Kondrich right side. He winds. He fires. It's blocked up in the air by Padilla. And Pisano chases it down at midfield. And Oscar will get the dangerous play calls. He went up in the air with his foot after the ball. And Knezic came up the left side. Oscar didn't see him and almost got him right in the forehead. 
drive. Red line, they feed, they center, blocked by Rudy. Evans centers again for Knezic. He can't control. Shot by Bennett wide. Knezic got the rebound to Fry. His shot wide to the left, followed by Knezic wide again. Pisano rebound. Knocked away by Bennett. It's loose in the corner. Bennett and Pisano fight for it. And a pair of 21 still go at it. Oscar backs away. Bennett comes out front with the ball. Dishes back to Padilla, left point to Knezic. Posted up out front. And Swanner pins the shot up against the right post. He holds on and calls timeout. Ten minutes, 28 seconds left in the game. The Invaders lead 5-2. to two. Here with 1480 WHBC in Canton, Ohio. Invaders looking to go 10-3 and three on the year. And Milwaukee trying to avoid going 6-8, and eight, but they trail by a count of 5-2. to two. The Invaders have taken control here in the second half, outscoring Milwaukee 4-1. to one. Behind by three. Custer's wearing the wrong colors tonight. He's got the bright red sweater on. He looks like he should be on the Invaders' side of the field. But he is in the Milwaukee bench, and uh, they're having... None too much to be happy about in this half so far. As the Invaders lead by 3-5-2 with 10-28 left in the game. Some of the folks in Section 9 and 10 trying to get the wave started. And it may catch on here. We'll see. Swanner and Tima will put it in play for Canton. Jamie to team Tima, and Timmy touches it back to Swanner. Jamie will scoop it up. Clears some traffic. Outlet right side midfield for Rudy. Knocked away by Alioto. Alioto off his head. Rudy caught him from behind and cleared it to, to Kramer. Kramer and Kia may have some business up here if they can get it moving. But Artie having some trouble with Sanderson who knocks it away from behind. And Tron dumps it in the goal area for Pierce. Outlet to Alioto at the Milwaukee red line. Tron midfield picked up by Kramer. Jung Tron backs it up and now dumps it ahead to Jeff Rogers. Rogers to the invader red line. Around Rudy, working on Kramer, drops it back to Tron and back at the mid red line to Delinsky. Now Sanderson in the corner, and ahead Tima knocks it away. Sanderson has it back, lost the ball to Rudy. Here comes Pikasinski, burned Delinsky. Down in the corner, Pierce will get there first, clear it to midfield, but it got around Sanderson, and Schlotthauer has it there for Canton. Walter touches it ahead to Tobin, it's a little long for him, and Tron clears it back around the boards, and waiting for it in the goal area is Tony Pierce. Outlet on the ground, red line left side to John Delinsky. JD with 918 pushes it ahead for Tron. Tron working on Tobin. And now picked up by Condridge. JD with a shot. Good save by Swanner. And JD tried to send that one in. It bounced around the glass and scored it up high and out of play. Goal kick invaders with 908 left in the game, and they lead 5 to 2. 1480 WHBC, Canton, Ohio, radio home for Invader Soccer. Next broadcast, as we told you, next Monday night from Fort Wayne, Indiana. It's a 7.05 kickoff and a 6.55 airtime on 94 FM. 9.08 to play. Swanner taps it over to Condrich and Tomo back in the goal area for Jamie Swanner. Chance Fry steps up. Swanner, long lead. Got Maurer. Maurer got inside of Lee Rogers. Takes it in the corner. And one at Randy. They cross. And Maurer still ends up with the ball. Now back at midfield to Pisano. 8.53 left in the game. Condrich move around Fry. And Fry with a nifty maneuver to take it back. But he knocked it right to Don Tobin. And now it's Pisano back at the Canton red line. Airborne over the head of Maurer and Lee Rogers. Rogers heads it up in the air. Trying to get around Maurer. And Maurer forces him to spin back. Rogers it goes down, and Maurer gets whistled for the trip. The team fouls are even at two apiece. 8.32 left in the game. The Invaders lead 5-2. Pierce has the ball in the goal area. And now he'll come out with it. Ball on the floor, and Pierce out across the red line. Pierce sends it long. Knocked away by Condrich. Pisano got, not lost it. Bennett leaves it for Knezic. Knezic down the right side. He shoots. Blocked away by Pisano. And Randy tries to clear. Knezic got a piece of it. Randy got it back for Canton. Randy maneuvering around off the left side boards. And ahead it comes to Condrich. Tomo across the midfield line. Sliding play by Bennett. And Randy got it back at midfield. Now Tobin. Now Pisano. Don Tobin to Pisano. Pisano knocks it away from Fry. Back to Swanner. 
And Swanner clears it ahead for Don Tobin. Knocked away by Evans. Evans lost it. And Maurer got it back for Canton. Taken away from behind by Bennett. Maurer got it back again. Bennett steal again. It's loose. Maurer with a steal back again. Knocked away by Lee Rogers. And he clears it back in the goal area for Pierce. Pierce long lead. Intercepted by Pisano. Ahead to Randy Pikasinski. But Oscar, it hit into the Milwaukee bench. And it'll be... Milwaukee kick in from the left side at midfield. Seven and a half minutes left in the game. The Invaders lead by three, five to two. John Delinsky and Jung Tron over by the ball. And let's see which one of them will put it in. J.D. will back up. Tron taps it over to Delinsky. Ahead to Sanderson, knocked away from behind by Schlotthauer. And here's Rudy, got around Tron, got around Delinsky, ball ahead of him, and Pierce clears, taken away by Rudy. A clear, Kia scores! <laughs> Almost a carbon copy of the other one. Pierce had to come out to his left. Rudy able to get the ball around to Kia, and Kia had the empty net. That was almost exactly like the other goal. Time of this one, 7.42. Kia's second goal of the night. It's his 11th of the season. Rudy Pikasinski gets his third, his third point of the night, second assist. And the Invaders lead by four, six to two. The good defensive work by Rudy Pikasinski really set that up. And the Invaders lead by four. Delinsky headed knocked away by Kia. Alioto heads it forward for Milwaukee. Schlotthauer and Ross fight for it there. Walter able to deflect it ahead to Rudy. And he feeds right side of the Canton red line to Kramer. And now it is Tima coming up the floor with it. Timmy sends it for Kia. It's a little long for him. Pierce out of the box. Sends it ahead for Delinsky. He's got Rudy to deal with. And dumps it back around the boards for Pierce. Ahead to Alioto. 6.50 left in the game. Alioto. Ross. Couldn't get the shot away. Schlotthauer clears for Pikasinski. It's going to be a track meet from here on out. Pikasinski to Kramer. Kramer trying to beat Delinsky. J.D. dumps it in the box for Pierce. Pierce out, led on the right side for Delinsky. Here we go, end to end. Delinsky picked up by Randy Pikasinski. Ahead for Jeff Rogers. Drop it back to Alioto. Alioto, Canton red line left side on Randy. Across the floor, ball knocked away by Schlotthauer. Sanderson got it back for Milwaukee. And out to Ross at midfield. Ross clears it in for Jeff Rogers. Rogers working on Tima at the red line. Clears it in the corner. Nobody there for Milwaukee. Tima will take it for the Invaders. Timmy trying to get around. Rogers does ahead to Schlotthauer. Knocked away. Jeff Rogers with it for Milwaukee. Timmy with a sliding play to knock it free. But it's taken back by Evans. Shot wide. Follows Sanderson. Kick save and a beauty by Swanner. And the long lead for Maurer. Maurer trying to get around Ross. And he couldn't control the ball. And Pierce has it. 5.51 left in the game. Pierce outlet. That's going to be intercepted by Randy Pikasinski. It's three on one to Maurer. Knocked away by Pierce. Randy got it back, and it's blocked out front. Coming loose with it. Condrich will try to clear. And he got it away from Sanderson. Over to Don Tobin. Tobin in the left corner. 5.33. Maurer tried to heel it over to Randy. It was behind him. Randy working on Bennett. Bennett with a push. It's loose in the box, and the ball taken in by Pierce. 5.23 left to play. Outlet short on the right side to Louis Bennett. And Milwaukee comes out with it. They head to Peter Knezic. Knezic, all-star midfielder last year. Dumps it forward for Evans. Evans for Sanderson. Double team. Maurer and Pisano. And Oscar saying he was held. Didn't get the call. But Oscar still comes away with a ball. And Milwaukee will back up. They can't back up. They're four goals down. Five minutes left in the game. Here comes Pisano. Midfield circle is Oscar. Back left side at the Canton red line to Condridge. Now Pisano back in the box to Swanner. Swanner sends it airborne. It's headed back by Fry. Bennett tries to clear. Knezic had to stretch for that and didn't get it. And Condridge has it in the corner for Canton. Now Swanner in the goal box. And Jamie will pick it up. Looking long. Wants a feed. Can't go long. Has to go short. And Pisano one touches it right back to the keeper Swanner. 4.29 left of the game. Invaders by four. Long lead for Condridge. Condridge trying to work on uh, Lee Rogers. Pushes it forward for Tobin. Tobin a chance. Fry fight for it. Now it's Randy, Rudy Pikasinski. And Rogers heals it back but knocked it right to Condridge. Condridge off the boards. Nobody home out front for Canton. And it's uh, Knezic at midfield for the Invaders. Spin move as Kia clears by. And he pushes it up to Bennett on the left side. Bennett stops. Got a weak shot away that was easily handled by Rudy. And Rudy Pikasinski 
for, and that's going to be two minutes on Bennett on Fry as he got a cheap push on Rudy. On either Bennett or Fry, I think they're going to give it to Fry. And the Invaders will go on the power play with a four-goal lead and only 3.57 left in the game. Time of the penalty is 11.03. And the Invaders look to have this one pretty comfortably in hand as Chance Fry sits down. That should be a yellow card. It's his second two minutes of the night. It doesn't really matter at this point. I think that may be what they're telling the official that it's his second penalty. So Chance Fry gets the push. Very, that was about as unnecessary a foul as you're likely to see in a while. Wasn't a real violent foul, but it was a cheap shot. 3.57 left of the game. The Invaders go on the power play. They are 0 for 3 with a man advantage tonight. So we'll see if they can improve on that step. Rudy, Pikasinski with Kia, Tobin, Schlotthauer, and Pisano. Jeff Rogers, Evans, Delinsky, and Lee Rogers for Milwaukee. Jamie Swanner will put it in play. And now there's a timeout, and I think they're going to give Fry the yellow card now. Let's see. Well, I guess they're not going to give it to him. Not sure what all this conversation... I think the Invaders wanted the yellow card. Milwaukee's trainer got a yellow card. Okay. Well, he gets he's a, he, he gets a little fun with it. He goes back and shakes a hand of a couple of the Invader fans after he got the yellow card. Here come the Invaders in the power play. Pisano in the corner to Kia. Back to Oscar. And Pisano working around on the right point area. 345 of the period. Now a minute 41 left to the penalty. In the corner, Kia centering ball, score, Schlotthauer! Seven to two, Canton. Schlotthauer from Kia. Power play goal, Invaders lead 7-2. Time of the goal, 11-26. And this one's history, friends and relatives. Kia the assist, Schlotthauer the goal. For Walter, it's his ninth goal of the year. For Kia, his seventh assist, and the Invaders have put this one away, 7-2. Outscoring Milwaukee, 6-1 in this half. They've just blown it open. Ross almost had it taken away by Kia, and Ross has it for Milwaukee at midfield. Drop it back to Alioto. Alioto picked up by Rudy. Rudy picked him clean. Rudy with the ball at midfield. Kia clears up with Kramer. He pushes it on the right side to Artie. Artie to Rudy. Oh, he just missed connections. Pierce knew he had a problem out there. Schlotthauer's got it back for Canton. Over to Kramer, and they'll drop it back at the Canton red line to Tima. 3.05 left in the game. Schlotthauer. Here comes Kramer. And now Tima at midfield. Long lead into the corner for Pikasinski off the boards for Kia. Kia loose. Pierce knocked it free. Ross in the corner. Kia knocked it away. Rudy tried to clear. Bickham couldn't get it. Schlonhauer clears to midfield. And Tima will chase that one down at the Canton red line. 2.42 left in the game. Invaders will go 10-3. and three. Milwaukee will fall to 6-8. and eight. Kramer right side at midfield. They'll back it up. Choose some clock. Schlonhauer midfield. And... He got kicked by somebody as after he got the pass away. Maurer has it for the Invaders. Drop it back to Kramer. 2.20 left to play. And Tima sends it forward. It's picked away by Ross at midfield. Ross ball knocked away by Schlotthauer. Schlotthauer ahead to an open Maurer. Maurer sliding play by Pierce to knock it away. Pierce has got a problem. He's out to the red line. Randy's got the ball. Pierce got away with a push. There's a shot, and they're going to give a trip call on Pierce. 
The Invaders had an opportunity to do some business at the other end. That should have been a delay. Well, that's one that you could have let them play on, but it doesn't matter. 205. Maurer had a chance to get a score down there, but they had whistled the play dead. 205 left in the game. The Invaders lead 7 to 2, and I'm getting beat up by George Trifilis. Congratulations, gentlemen, on another victory. This is the last home game of this year. Next one will be January 2nd. We congratulate the Paxos brothers and George for another class operation that they put on the field this year, both on the field and in the front office. This team really the class of the league. Swanner, long lead, tried to get it to Maurer at the red line, but it's over the glass and out of play. 151 left in the game, Invaders 7, Milwaukee 2. Evans will put it in play for the wave. Evans, long ball for Bennett, but Swanner, who's much taller, able to heal it up in the air. Randy couldn't control Ross to Bennett. Bennett, weak shot, and Pisano stepped in front of that and clears it off. And Bennett tried to get around Kondrich, and Tomo able to clear to midfield. Minute 34 left in the game. Lee Rogers ahead for Knezic. Knezic, ball blocked by Pisano. Knezic got it back. Shot blocked by Randy. Randy coming out with it. Here come the invaders. Randy and Bennett. Randy goes down. Bennett gets the foul. It's the fourth one on Milwaukee. With a minute 23 left in the game. Pisano put it in play. It was the wrong spot on the floor. We'll do it again. Oscar drops it over to Kondrich. Tomo back to Pisano at the red line. He taps it back to Swanner. Swanner, oh, airborne. He shanked it off the side of his foot. He wanted to get it to Tobin, and he ended up putting it 10 rows back in the seats. Minute 14 left in the game. Offensive star of the game, Kia. Defensive star, Swanner. 7-2, to Invaders have the lead. They will win this. Minute 12 left to play. Tobin has it at the Canton red line. Trying to get it ahead to Maurer. It was blocked. Condrich has it for Canton. Con oh, he got a cheap shot from Bennett. That's two on Bennett. Louis Bennett just came in, and frankly, Louis should, Louis should be thrown out of the game for that. That's red card material. Bennett's been a cheap shot artist all year. We don't need that in this league. He usually gets away with a lot of it. He'll sit him down for two. And how he can uh, how he can ever complain about that? He deserved two. He could have gotten five for that. I've seen five minutes called on worse hits than that. Time of the penalty is 13:55. That's his second of the night, and they give him the yellow. They, he gets a yellow card. Boarding penalty on Bennett with a minute five left in the game. The Invaders will be on the power play again. No, no reason for that. Tobin had passed the ball away, and Bennett just comes over and slams him into the boards. Late in the game. That is just a blatant cheap shot, and there's no other way to describe it. But over the last couple of years, it's the kind of a thing we've come to expect from Louis Bennett. Well, I called him the last time, and I think I probably agree. Still probably the dirtiest player in the league. And he lived up to that tonight. That's his second two-minute penalty, and he's had at least a half a dozen fouls, maybe more than that, and a couple that he got away with. Tobin pushes to Pisano, back to Tobin. Now Schlotthauer, left side, back to Tobin. 52 seconds left in the game. Oscar Pisano, red line. Down in the corner for Kia. Kia back out to Oscar. Kia and Schlotthauer work in the corners. Rudy's posted up in the arc. And uh, Schlott and uh, Tobin and Pisano back at the red line. 34 seconds of the game. Tobin fighting with Jeff Rogers for that ball. They clear it out. End of the third quarter, Memphis is blowing out Toledo. It's 6-0. Delinsky had it knocked away by Schlotthauer. 21 seconds left in the game as Rudy clears it back to Pisano. Oscar, right side. They may not work for anything here. Only 14 seconds left. They may not want to rub their faces in it. 
Then again, I could be wrong. Tobin fires and scores! And the Invaders lead 8-2 to two with nine seconds left in the game. So Tobin, the guy who got hit by the cheap shot, is rewarded with a goal. Time of the goal, 14-51. And the Invaders have outscored Milwaukee 7-1 to in this half. And they lead it 8-2. to two. For Don Tobin, it's his sixth goal of the season. And all of his goals have either been power plays or penalty kicks. Here comes Pisano. One second, it's over. The Invaders win it. Eight to two. They score four unanswered goals in that fourth period, and they go to 10 and three on the season. We'll be back to wrap it up in 60 seconds. At 1441 of the third quarter, Steve Frick, shorthanded goal unassisted to make it 4-2. At 2:41 of the fourth, Rudy Pikasinski unassisted to make it 5-2. 7:42 of the fourth, Kia from Rudy Pikasinski that made it 6-2. A power play goal at 11:26 of the fourth, Schlotthauer from Kia that made it 7-2. And a power play goal by Tobin at 14:51 of the fourth, Pisano the assist. And the final score, the Invaders 8 and Milwaukee 2. The Invaders will be in action next on Thursday, on uh, Monday night, 7.05 kickoff time at Fort Wayne against the Fort Wayne Flames. We hit the air on 94 FM at 6.55. Glad to have you aboard tonight. That brings us to the end of another night of AISA soccer on 1480 WHBC. Tonight's game brought to you by the Pizza Palace.